take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Auxiliary heating turns on automatically to help heat your home more quickly if the temperature drops suddenly. The emergency heat setting has to be manually switched on and should only be used in temperatures below 30 degrees. Let's help you make your mark. It does need to be noted, if your thermostat stays in OX heat, even when temperatures outside rises, you should call to have it serviced. Auxiliary heat uses electric resistance heating, which is much less efficient than your heat pump. Therefore, a heating system stuck in OX heat will run up an energy bill. Take our lead. To limit auxiliary heat and lower your heating costs, a critical first step is to set a lower indoor temperature. If it's 30 degrees outside, it is unreasonable to expect the system to maintain an indoor temperature of 78 without using the heat strips. Let's help you make your mark. Your thermostat determines when the auxiliary heat gets energized. When the temperature inside your home drops a certain amount below the goal temperature, usually 1.5 to 2 degrees, your thermostat energizes auxiliary heat. Take our lead. Emergency heat, also known as auxiliary heat, is the second stage of heat that your thermostat runs on when the temperature is too cold for your heat pump to extract heat from the outside. Emergency heat is typically triggered when it is 35 degrees Fahrenheit and below outside. Take our lead. COP is equal to the heat delivered, which means in an air conditioner the heat delivered to the outside of a house, as measured by British thermal units BTUs, per hour divided by the heat equivalent of the electric energy input. Let's help you make your mark. The temperature outside is below freezing below freezing, your heat pump simply can't draw enough heat from the cold air outside and will kick on its auxiliary heat mode to generate heat for your home. So, before you call a professional to diagnose a problem, check the outdoor temperature. Make your mark, take our lead. As we mentioned above, Ox heat usually costs up to 50% more than heat transfer, which means if your system is running on ox heat when it shouldn't be, your heating bill is likely going to be a lot higher than you'd like it to be. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.